Why is it important for you to be a filmmaker and not a film watcher? Oh man, I, I think, I mean, it starts with my dad. He's a photographer. We always had sort of like eight millimeter cameras kicking around the house. So from a very early age, I was playing with like stop motions, making stop motion Lego things. Uh, I wanted, I, and I wanted to be a writer first. That's, that's the real truth. I wanted to write novels. And then when I kind of got obsessed with writing movies, but again, when I was 18 or 20 and writing these movie scripts, I, I, I didn't know that I should move to LA and get an agent. I didn't know any of this. I thought, well, I need to get one of these made so that people can see what my words look like on the screen. And there was no Facebook. There was no, I need a producer groups. There was no, uh, ain't it cool news chat rooms where you could meet, you know, you could meet other people. And I just, I said, okay, well, I don't know any directors. I guess I'll just direct it. I don't know any other cinematographers. I guess I'll pick up a camera and learn how to shoot things. Uh, but as I sort of started exploring each of those elements, I realized, oh, these are all very related. And, and I like, I like them all. I loved editing. I was always editing videos in high school. So I've always sort of been just, uh, afflicted with wanting to tell stories in one form or another. And then I realized that when I paired the right visuals and the right dialogue with the right music, that I had a really good ability to sort of draw emotion out of people and sort of get the, not be manipulative, but if I wanted people to cry, I could, I could make that happen with like telling a sad tale. If I wanted people to laugh, I knew how to time the edits and, and the jokes and things to work. And it just, it's like, uh, I don't use drugs, which I know if I did, I'd be just as addicted to them as filmmaking. So filmmaking is like, like my drug. I just have to wake up every day. I never, I never stop thinking of stories. I can be in, I can go to Trader Joe's after this on the way home and, and something, something will happen. I'll see something. I'll look down at the wheel of the cart wobbling and be like, that would be a great shot. And then the setup would be this. And this character knows this character because it's just, it's just always sort of churning. So I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, I've tried to quit a couple times and just go do do a different job, but it's always it's always come back. Mostly my friends saying, "What are you, what else are you gonna do? You can't. You're you're programmed to do this." So you wanted to be a novelist like William Gibson or just? Yeah, I just it started writing. Uh, hey P Pixar, if you're listening, I have this pitch since <laughs> third grade. Uh, in third grade, we had to do a thing called write a one page story called "My Life Is an Easter Egg," and the premise was. Everybody got the same piece of paper the teacher had written at the top. My life is an Easter egg, dot, dot, dot. And you had to write a one page story. So I ended up turning in like this 38 or 39 page story that started with, I was a chocolate Easter egg that was manufactured in this plant. And then it's, I remember like the, the, um, it's like the CVS of Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart, or, or they, they, you could get your, your name, like your kid's name written on the Easter egg. So it'd be customized when they got this chocolate egg just done with frosting. And so my idea was I was a per like my Easter egg was a personalized egg and it was going to this little kid, Jimmy in Saskatchewan. And that meant he had to get on a truck, but then the truck ended up taking a wrong exit and like people robbed the truck and the egg ended up like going. So it was all about this Easter eggs, almost like a toy story of a chocolate Easter egg of like the misadventures of him. Just like, no, I have to get to this kid. I have to, and it was this 30 and, and like my third grade teacher was just like to my parents, like, uh, I think he might be a writer, you know, oh. I think that imagination might be hyperactive. How cool. That's a great mm -hmm. story. Did it get to Jimmy? Did he uh, get his it did. It did. Oh, good. And now Pixar, you could make this your next franchise. <laughs>